What is going on, everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you episode number six of our Scarlet and Violet Warlock. Today, of course, I'm joined with Midnight Wolf. Hello, welcome back. Right on. Man, Midnight, you gave me a, a crushing defeat on the uh, last Warlock battle. Uh, however, however, if you did not see, uh, I picked up two new party members on the last episode. Pretty Absolutely crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous is what I'll say. Yes. And uh, so we got two new squad members on my side. And uh, they are both pretty powerful. So uh, we're going to have to figure out a way how we can train those up. And uh, funny enough, I did not have them on the selected mons that I got for the team. But I'll go ahead and show you guys my current party. Uh, there you go real quick. So we got some power in here. Uh, we just have to boost them up. Uh, we know we're, we're taking on the, uh, the dark type uh, team star member. On this episode, level 21, I believe, is his highest level uh, yeah. pony yard. But that river room is pretty powerful. So uh, we got some training to do, man. I'm, I'm going to jump right into a start training. Maybe find me a, uh, a rock rough over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, to be fair, I would absolutely love a rock rough. Oh, oh well, well, we'll see. I'm going I'm to get it before you this time. You watch. I'm the shiny king on this, this playthrough. Yeah, to be fair, no, I'm not, I'm not even going to contest that. Not even remotely. <laughs> Crazy. Back to back in one episode. Insane. Yeah, no, that absolutely insane. I'm uh, I'm a little nervous as we start to uh, get this going here because, you know, we're, our Pokemon are going to start evolving much faster. I know that uh, Midnight and I have quite a lot of uh, three-stage evolutions on our teams, um, but the uh, the battles are about to get more intense. So, we uh, oh definitely definitely have to start picking out our teams, and I I feel foolish that I lost so many uh, heavy hitters so early. Um, Skarmory was a huge hit to me, so I'm I'm really upset about that. Um, but we did take out a uh, some powerful Pokemon on his side. The Reboot going down was was huge, huge, huge. Yeah, the Reboot, the Torkoal was mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. I think did we trade Torkoals? I think we did. Yeah, we did trade Torkoals, yeah. So I've also not got many doubles mons left. I realized that I used a lot of them kind of early on, which is mm -hmm. unfortunate. Yep, we have uh, we have Swim and we have uh, Quick Run. Mm. Here we go. Oh, remember, here you come. Remember when you and I were talking about the, uh, the randomized door uh, challenge? Yeah. So I just watched the... I didn't watch the whole video. Right, but I definitely seen the video uh, where they took Pokemon Fire Red, Pokemon Emerald, and Pokemon Crystal, and combined all three games together. Yes, yes, I've seen that. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. Ooh, yes, please. That oh, one. don't tell me you had the same idea I did. I think we had the same idea. Ugh, but there isn't a great deal in here. There's not that much. Let me, let me ask you, how much money do you have? Overall, including my league points, like 35k. It's not good. But I haven't really sold anything, so... I, you, know what? you ever played the <laughs> game Phasmophobia? Yes. Once or twice, but my computer Ooh. doesn't really handle it super well. Me and my uh, me and my friends last night, uh, Nonsense Nerd and Bro and Jack, we were all playing uh, Phasmophobia last night. Ooh. And uh, they had some updates to the game oh is it? it it's uh pretty good now like they they did some like actuals on it you know like some uh the temperature gauge you know if you see your breath that doesn't necessarily mean that it's below like yes. freezing yeah i've heard about some of these quality of life updates and uh you know just things that make sense you know and uh yes. it was good but um me we we seen another game it's called demonologist right and i think i've seen that midnight let me tell you you play it it is it is terrifying the first <laughs> couple times you play, right? Because every map is a story essentially, right? Right, yeah. And there's a lot of jump scares that are like predetermined. Yeah. So once you once you get past the initial like oh gosh, you know, it, it's not yeah. scary anymore. Yeah. But uh, it was uh, it was terrifying the first time. I'm really tempted. I'm really tempted. I'm kind of stuck. Um, <laughs> just, I got stuck in a hedge. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs>